Hello, everyone. Welcome to our mini lesson. I'm Wen from Ningu Language Center. Today, we are going to learn the Chinese pinyin. First, please look at the syllables and follow me to read. Ni hao. Ni hao, which means hello in Chinese. In these two syllables, n and h are initials. E and ao are finals. The marks above the finals are tones. There are four different tones in Chinese pinyin and a neutral tone. Let's read them one by one. Ah, 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 ah. A neutral tone. Ah. To make you better understand for tones, let's draw a short vertical line to represent the pitch variation within an average person's voice range. As you can see, five is the highest pitch, and one is the lowest pitch. So, the first tone, we shall make it long and high. Ah, ah. The second tone, rising. Ah, like you are surprised. Ah. The third tone, start from a low pitch, then falling, then rising. Ah. Ah. The fourth tone, start from a high pitch, then sharp falling, like you are hurt. Ah. Ah. Very good. We must pronounce the four tones very well because different tones carry different meanings. For example, ma. First tone means mother. Ma. Second tone means flex. Ma. Third tone means horse. And ma. Fourth tone means swear. But. When is the neutral tone ah uh, used? There are several cases, and today we just learn two of them. First, the second syllable in some compound words. For example, woman, woman. Just make a neutral tone very light and natural. Woman means we or us. 你们你们 means you. Second, a second syllable which is a repetition of the first one. For example, 妈妈 means mother. 哥哥 means elder brother. Okay, let's review what we have learned today. Three parts: initial. Final and tone make a syllable. 你好 n and h are initials. E and ao are finals, and both syllables are third tone. 你好 means hello in Chinese. And there are four tones in Chinese pinyin and a neutral tone. Ah, ah, ah. Here is a vocabulary. Woman means we or us. 你们 means you. 妈妈 means mother. 哥哥 means elder brother. Okay, thank you for watching today's mini lesson. If you have any questions about learning Chinese, just check out our website. Or subscribe to our monthly newsletter. Next time, we will learn how to make self-introduction in Chinese. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye. 再见。